Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be a continuation of our character modeling walkthrough series. This is part three, where we refine the face and the hands of the model and get them ready for retopology. I forgot to join the eyelids to the head in the last video, so I'll quickly do that now using the Boolean Union modifier and then smoothing out the creases. Now I'll turn Dyntopo off and then go back over to the voxel remesher from before. I'm going to use the eyedropper to test the current resolution and I see it's at about 0 0.08. I want to increase the resolution here as I want to add detail to the face and finalize it for the final render. In order to increase the resolution for finer detail, I will need to lower the voxel size. I'm going to go with 0 0.045. Be careful here as small adjustments can cause a big jump in your poly count as you can see down in the lower right corner. I try and go high enough so that the artifacts around the lids you see here are relatively small without getting too high in poly count in the overall model. You may need to experiment with different voxel sizes at this point. I'll speed up the video here a bit so you can sculpt your character as you see fit. For this part, I'm using a lot of crease brush and scrape brush to create an angular, stylized look. A popular YouTuber by the name of Yan Sculpts, an amazing artist who does incredible work in Blender, has some great tutorials on sculpting the mouth. I'd recommend checking him out if you haven't already. I've put a link in the description below. Here on the lips, the mask tool is really helpful. You can access the mask tool by pressing M on your keyboard. The black part will remain unaffected by your brush. You can invert it by pressing Control I. And to clear it, press Alt M. Using the scrape brush on all sides of the nose here, I feel like using it on the underside of the nose really helps with getting a good look. Adding in a eye blob for a touch of realism.
keep the ears simple here as they're a pain in the butt to model and I have no artistic ability. Okay, so in my mind's eye, most of the rest of the body will be covered by clothing and accessories and shoes, so I won't spend too much more time on them. This leaves just the hands as needing some more attention. I want to give the hands a more stylized, angular look to match the face, so I try and use the scrape brush along with the inverted crease brush to create this effect.
Okay, so there you have it. You should have a cleaned up face and hands now ready for a retopology. We'll start adding in some clothes and accessories in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped, and see you in the next one.